Okay, uh, today is our problem, the problem of multicollinearity and regression model. The multicollinearity. So here, what is happening? How multicollinearity affects any estimated regression line? So that is our guideline that we want to check how the problem of multicollinearity can affect any estimated regression line. And here is our model, right? You can see this is our model. And uh, Y is the dependent variable and the rest are independent variable. And it is our model 1.1. You can see from here, model 1.1. And we want to estimate this model having six independent variable. Okay, but after estimating model 1.1, we saw that only X5 has become significant while others are not. Out of six independent variable, only one has become significant and others are not. So I suspect there is a problem of multicollinearity in model 1.1 and that is why most of the variables have become insignificant. Okay, the question is that what is multi collinearity what is it if there exists a high correlation between any two independent variables problem of multi collinearity arise and multi collinearity makes a significant variable insignificant by increasing its standard error and if the standard error goes up t value goes down and hence come up with high p value so that particular variable becomes insignificant but in reality it is not I'm telling here he again what happens actually uh, when there is a problem of multi collinearity okay what is the T statistics the formula formula is uh, estimated coefficient divided by standard error right okay the problem is that what happens when there is a problem of multi collinearity the standard error goes up as a result t statistics goes down and if the t statistics goes down then the then the p value goes up and if the p value goes up then that particular variable become insignificant all the time meaning that I'm, I'm telling you here here all the, the T statistics I'm telling again T statistics sorry not T statistics absolute abs, ab, oh, sorry absolute T statistics and the p value has always opposite opposite relationship relationship all the time meaning that if the absolute t value goes up p value goes down or if the absolute t value goes down p value goes up it, it always happens and what is happening here 
if there is a problem of multicollinearity that makes the standard error high that makes the standard error high as a result t value goes down artificially as a result p value goes up so that variable become insignificant normally if the p value is normally if the p value is more than more than 5% that is more than 0 0.05 then that particular variable become insignificant so that is the guideline But wha what is the what is the multi collinearity is doing? She is making the variable insignificant, but probably she that variable is not insignificant, right? Okay. Now, how to detect multi collinearity? So here, how to detect? We run the correlation analysis using all our independent variables given in model 1.1 that means uh, that means the variables are x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 so uh, so so uh, we can run the correlation analysis using only independent variable not dependent variable make sure right and after estimating the correlation analysis we find that there exists a high correlation between x3 and x4 that means there exists the highest uh, correlation between x3 and x4 and that is 95 point three six percent so this one is the highest the correlation coefficient between x3 and x4 is the highest so so that is why uh, that is why we shall be we shall be choosing we shall be choosing x3 x4 as a target so the correlation coefficient x3 and x4 is the target why because the correlation coefficient is the highest here for for this particular case it is the highest so now uh, now so as a result the problem of multicollinearity arises now we have to drop one variable from the model either x3 and x4 to solve the problem of multi collinearity okay how to solve the problem that is the second issue the guideline is we shall drop that variable which has higher p value out of x3 and x4 because x3 and x4 is the target variable right now because they have the highest correlation coefficient and out of these two I, uh, 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 we should drop one variable which has higher p-value okay higher the p-value lower the level of significance all the time right uh, so after estimating model 1.1 we saw that x4 had higher level of p value which is 0 0.30 compared to x3 which is 0 0.06 
So we should drop x4 and run the run the model 1.1 again. So meaning that we shall be dropping x4 and keep all other independent variable. Why? Because x4 has higher p value. That means lower level of significance. That means uh, that means x4 can influence less. X4 can influence y less compared to x3. X3 can influence y more than x4 because x3 has lower level of p value normally when the p value goes down meaning that dependent variable more so that and if the p value is less than 5% meaning that that variable is significant significantly explain the dependent variable which is y okay now after estimating model 1.1 after removing x4 we see that more variables have become insignificant such as x3 x5 x6 so now you see three variables have become significant but last time only one was significant why because the problem of multi collinearity has been removed so so three variables have been significant and what is the guideline normally in a good regression model most of the variables should be significant so here uh, in our model uh, three are significant out of five because we have dropped x4 right we have dropped x4 so now we have five variables five independent variables and out of five three are significant meaning that most of them are significant so we are happy about the model